you want to carry on, mate? I'll speak to the constable in private. Well, I haven't got a problem. You guys want me to tell her what's going on. I'll, I'll you want me as long as I tell her what's going on. I don't have to tell her anything. Mate, let's move out the road. What's up? What the hell is up with you? So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at Timet or Timmy, however you pronounce it, here in Perry Bar, Birmingham. And Timmet has been leading the industry in mill and melted products, supplying nearly one fifth of the world's titanium. We are the only supplier with production facilities in both the United States and Europe. Wow. So. This is the office. This might be the head office or just the corporate uh, side of things. It's a nice place. Got a sign there, important. Got a van behind me, I'm not sure what he wants. Oh yeah, it says UK headquarters on the sign. What's this van doing? I think he's lost. Or is it just parking up? Just parking up, maybe. So yes, titanium. Now, titanium has lots and lots of uses, doesn't it? So with the help of titec.co.uk, we have aerospace, whether it's to manufacture boats, aircraft, or cars, the titanium sheet is the ideal choice to make. Marine. The titanium sheet can also be used by the marine industry. Chemical processing. We supply various titanium parts, including titanium wire and vaping. Believe it or not, titanium wire is used to provide a clean vape. And then we have the human body. You've probably heard that titanium is a metal that can be used for joint replacements, whether it be a hip replacement or a knee replacement. That's quite interesting all from one business called Timet or Timmy. We learn a lot about titanium there and all the different uses it has. Now, this gate, it does say fob access only, but it is open. So let's have a quick peek around this corner just to see what there is. And now all it is is a, a car park, which hasn't got many cars down there, to be fair. That's all shuttered off down that part. Most of it's shuttered off, to be fair. And they've got the blinds down on a few windows. But yeah, with it being a UK headquarters, they're not going to expect uh, members of the public to walk in, that's for sure. A nice intercom system here. Press here to enter. So from here, we can see the back of someone's head. But even with my Zoom, can't quite see any data, so we'll let you off on that one. So here we are at the back gate and they do have a rising roadblock. Now, this sign, all drivers must report to... All drivers must report to the goods inwards dispatch upon arrival. Hi mate. Doing? Just doing some filming. Just from the outside. I won't come on. Oh right. Yeah. It's a titanium, isn't it? Yeah. It can be used for a lot of things nowadays. Certainly can. What's your main industry? What do you supply to? Uh, it's aerospace mainly. Right. So, uh, yeah. Nothing to do with hip replacement, stuff like that? I think they do do that, but generally majority is not. Is it sheets? Well, well, it's raw material. We make the, 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 you know, the titanium from scratch. This is the mill? Well, the, yeah, the, the, over the road. This is right. This is just the headquarters, isn't it? Yeah. You store out here? What, what, yeah, what are you doing there? Who do you work for? Nobody. What, what are you doing? Just a, a general interest video about buildings and what people do, where. But yeah, your, your fence is there, innit? So I won't come on. I'll just uh, I'll take the drone over, just have a look. Uh, what's Because like, there's certain interesting things 
that you don't get to see, like behind the scenes. If I asked you now, would you take me around so I can film what I find interesting? You'd say no, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just take the drone over and do it. Yeah, but is that legal? What, flying a drone? Over, over a property? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. They're so lightweight nowadays, they're so small. And what about, is it legal to fly looking over somebody's property? Well, it's all to do with the weight, because all drones have cameras nowadays, so if it's 249 gram, that's what makes it legal to fly over places like this. But if it's heavy, they class it as too dangerous. Oh, right. It could fall on people, but yeah, you've got no right of privacy anymore. Because, no. you know, when Google fly over and stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, because this new technology, you can go places like industrial estates and find, especially how you've got titanium, you know, it's very precious. It costs a fortune, doesn't it? Mm. So, people don't ever get to see behind the scenes and learn more about it and where the factories are, what they do. And it's showcasing industry as well. But what do you do with, the, with that then? I put it online so people can see what I found today on the industrial estate. You know, next door they have an extension of the recycling facility. Yeah, I've been doing that for two years now. You get paid to do that? Oh, the adverts, you know, when they're watching advert on YouTube, oh, right. you get a few pence per every view. You've gone for a roadblock, haven't you, here? So, gates open, just roadblock, because I know you're closing them just because I'm here, because when I went back... I was closing them anyway. No, when I went by about 10 minutes ago, it was open. Yeah, because I've got a wagon in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no wagon in now, is there? No. So they're closing. But you've got a tiny gap at the side, haven't you? But that's not big enough for a vehicle. But those roadblocks, they stop people coming in, but they don't stop them coming out, do they? Well, uh, you can reverse it, but no, it's to stop them coming in. Stop them coming in, yeah. Yeah. But once they're in, so like if you use that to try and trap them in, would a vehicle be able to reverse over that? Yeah, probably would, wouldn't it? Because the, the gap nowadays between the bottom and the top of these HDVs, they're quite a distance, aren't oh, they? Yeah, the HDV, I mean, the HDVs wouldn't be able to go over there, the wagons. Coming out the wood. Oh, coming out, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I find them very interesting. Do you know, would it hold the weight of a... I have no idea. Because the pistons underneath, you know, they must be very strong. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have thought you could... I think if you drove over it, I would think, I don't know, a wagon, especially with the, the weight that they have. You think it might collapse? <laughs> so <laughs> pointless, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> so aerospace, yeah? All right. So the titanium sheet is an ideal choice for aerospace. It's used to create wings, blades, airframes, and turbine discs. Titanium is often found in the structure of an aircraft, but can also be used for space travel. One of the main reasons why the titanium sheet is used by the aerospace industry is for its ability to survive at high temperatures and pressures. So high temperatures and pressures. So the gate is now locked, well, closed. It's not been locked. And that big hefty chain there is just sitting there for anybody to take. Yeah, it's not locked onto the gate. So what can we see from here before the drone goes up? We have some sort of... Wow. I don't know. Old piece of machinery there. Would that be titanium? I don't know. Some old aircon bits and bobs. So yes, we have seen all we can see now from the publicly accessible areas for scrap deliveries. Ring that number. Scrap deliveries. All right. So yes, we have seen all we can see from the publicly accessible areas. Now would be a good time to get David up and see what this place looks like from above. Yes. Are you, mate? DJ. DJ Audis. I can never see your face, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I always heard. What's your name? I'll see you on a look. It's a good one, yeah, I've seen a few here. Yeah. They, they come out there and give us the bottom point. But I've had the drone over and everything, so they left me alone, so I'll leave no. them alone if they leave me alone. Yeah, come on. Yeah. What was your you first what? name? Nick. 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 I, I noticed that. Did boy. you? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I've seen that round, and then I saw taking pictures Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers, yeah. mate. So that was Nick. Right then, as always, we've checked on drone assist. We are in the Birmingham CTR. 
but a CTR does not apply to a 249 gram drone, as we all know by now. So, Timit. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Probably Timé or... Anyway, let's see what you look like. Shall we? So the roadblock, the closed gate, and the headquarters entrance, just down there where we started. Offices in that little section there. And then storage, he said, in the rest of it. Hiding behind this skip here. We have lots and lots of the raw material. Titanium bars and bits and bobs. <laughs> Different colors. And we even have some metal drums. Oh, are they using it for the scrap? Yeah, they're putting scrap in them, aren't they? CCTV all around the outside but backs onto fields I bet they hate that a gate going out into concrete base area there and they've even fenced off this part for some reason maybe that's what was storing some sort of Hazardous material would be my guess. Electricity transformers on site there. And a nice safe route for pedestrians all marked out on the ground. Well, it would be if that weren't there. <laughs> and that. And then they have a fenced off area under here, out of sight. More chemicals. Metal drums containing something hazardous. But that's the yard. Nothing at all moving. Then there was this interesting piece of machinery, wasn't there? that we saw through the fence. Spins around on that center axis and does something. With that maybe being a part of it as well. But they look nice, don't they? Look how clean they look. So very expensive material titanium with lots and lots of modern uses supply into the aerospace industry they don't like to give anything away do they but that's it let's get uh, the full site in one shot a 360 degree photo for them for their google maps business listing and then we'll move on outside this place they do have some sort of infrared sensor or communications transmitter and receiver i have seen them before normally they use them for communicating from site to site they might have another site pointing in that direction over there somewhere so we can check that out shortly all right oh yeah so I don't, I just i just seen you on the camera, I think I just wondered why you must be having the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an interesting place. So, just, just showing an interest really, you know, titanium for the aerospace industry, yeah? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, right, so, it's, yeah. it's such a, a valuable, precious metal. Yeah. Do you take it from the solid bars? I've also had the drone over, you see. I can see you've got solid bars of it down in the back. Yeah. Do you turn it from solid into sheets? Uh, you know something, I'm only the builder here, so... Um, oh, you're the builder? Why yeah, have they sent the builder out? You don't know yeah, much, well, do you? I was just in the reception there. 
and they seen you on the camera uh, and I was just going to go and report it to security so I said well I'll just nip out and just see what was that I'll just say you was just taking an interest that was all yeah, uh, yeah. just tell them he's making a video about the place he's took the drone over he's yeah. seen all the interesting things do you know that old piece of machinery down at the skip where yeah. it's got like a, a spindle in the middle yeah. and it spins round what does that do I, ain't got, I think it's scrap scrap that's a heavy bit of scrap it isn't is it? it's been there for years that has been there for years <laughs> no, what, no. Do you do, what do you do? Put them on YouTube or some of the videos? Yeah. yeah. Anybody that watches the video, I get paid a few pence when oh, they okay. watch the advert. Yeah. So as long as I try and make it interesting and something different. Yeah. But it's a tough task, you know. Yeah, yeah. On an industrial estate, you wouldn't have thought you'd have a titanium mill. This ain't the mill, is it? It used to be over there, the mill did. That's the other, because this is only, this is only half the site, this is the other half over the other side of the road. That's, and that's where all the production is, that's just storage here. Storage, yeah, storage and headquarters are offices, isn't it? Yeah, that's the main office, and over there is where they do actually the production. What, still, to this day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they've got that sensor thing over there, and I normally see that when it's sending communication to the other site. Yeah. Is that what it's doing? Yeah. What, like, network? Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's like computers? Yeah, all computers, yeah. Really? Yeah. So that's like wireless network? Yeah. Oh, right. So there you go, if you want to speak to anybody about your video, just come in there, I'll, I'm sure they'll put you right. Yeah, I normally stay outside because when I go in, because yeah. whatever they tell me, I want to capture it on the video. Oh, okay. And when you start putting video yeah. inside people's buildings, yeah. it's not very polite, is it? No. Anyway, no problem, I could just tell them you're just interested. Yeah, just tell them I'm doing some video in. I've, I've took the drone over, mention yeah. the drone. Yeah, I will do, yeah. Because just so they know, full transparency, I never keep anything um, secret, you know. No. Okay. You watched it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want a key ring? TikTok man, seriously. TikTok man, yeah? Oh my god, you're the one that annoys everybody. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first name? Mo. Mo. I put your name in big letters. Cheers, pal. <laughs> nice to meet you. And another thing to note is they have got barbed wire, which is uh, reachable from the public highway. Now, they have got a few of these yellow signs, but they're now all broken. They need to be once every nine meters. And ideally, the barbed wire cannot be reached from the public highway. Now, let's be reasonable. Let's cross over here and see if it can be reached at all. So we're walking down on the public footpath. The fence is getting nearer. And look, the barbed wire is now protruding into the public footpath rather than being on their land. So really that needs to be pushed back and signs need to be visible around this area here. Bright yellow signs need to be put in that section for sure. And the barbed wire should really be pushed over onto their land like that and not protruding this way. So even when this gate is pushed closed, there is no magnet or anything that's keeping it closed at all. It was literally relying on the electric opener to keep it closed. So once it had broke, they didn't get it fixed and they're not that bothered either. I don't know where you are. Oh, yeah, he's there. Yeah. All right. I'm not grassing me up, are you? No. I was just saying that you the, the was constantly there. So they wanted to know, I've just come out of there, and they wanted to know why you was constantly there. When you was I told you. Ground. Yeah, but they, what, they want to know, not me. I told you so you can tell them. Yeah, and they didn't believe me. So why are you involving the police? Yeah, because you was constantly there for about an hour, and they just, they just said that. Where, where would you feel like you they, they didn't like the fact that you sent a drone over. Whether they like it or not, it doesn't matter. I don't know, anyway, answer to me. Ask him why you were there all the time. I don't have to answer to anyone, mate. 
you, you politely came out and I inquired. Because yeah. you, inqu you was polite, I yeah. told you what yeah, I was doing. I went back and in there. What, what was you doing? Well, why have you not told her then? Why have you no, reported? I'm, no, I'm asking you. I haven't you. reported it, I just stopped here. I'm asking, I'm so asking I thought you. we was okay. Listen, I couldn't give a damn yeah, what you're doing. I'm you obviously just, can. I'm just asking you. I've spoken here, but I'm just asking you what you were doing. Right. Are you going to answer me? I might do. Go on then. Do you want to carry on, mate? I'll speak to the constable in private. I haven't got a problem. You guys want me to tell her what's going on. I'll, I'll do you mean as long as I tell her what's want, going on? I don't have to tell her anything. Mate, let's, let's move what? up the road. What's up? What the hell is up with you? I politely explained to you what I was doing up there, and now you're trying to get me in trouble with the police. No, he, he was just concerned. Let's move your bike out the road and we'll have a chat. He was just concerned because I think he was concerned that you were reaching there previously by sending a drone over and stuff like that. Yeah. So he, he expressed his concerns to me. Okay. So I gave him an explanation, a reasonable Which explanation, that I'm a YouTuber and I'm creating a, biz, uh, a video about yeah. his titanium business. He's only a okay. builder. Okay. He don't even work there. He's not employed by the company. Okay. So they've sent a builder out, which isn't really, I thought that was a bit well, naughty. He, he, he was just coming to see what was going on. And I told him. Yeah, okay. And then we went away as friends. And I'm now on my way to plant number two, because he told me they've got another site down there. I'm going to okay. film that now to complete the video. Okay. I don't know what it's all about. I think you just didn't like the fact that you were loitering outside and sending a drone over and stuff like that. I'm standing on a public footpath. Yeah, I've no, been there for about an hour. Mate, I get that. I get that. I think he was just a bit concerned that you were loitering outside, sending a drone over. He doesn't know who you are. He doesn't know... I told him. No. But people can lie. What he's done, what he's done, he's gone back inside with the explanation I've given him. And he said and they, he's got some they, more stick. They don't, they don't believe... So what, they don't what believe said. the builder who came out Approach the member well, of the public. Don't what, what you said. So, just, so why hasn't a management or somebody else come out I, to ask me more know. questions? I Instead, know, what he's done, he's found a police car and he's tried to get the person in trouble. Whatever he's just said to you now, he wanted you to go back to me and start suspecting me of a crime. No, I don't think so. I think he was just concerned that you were loitering outside. We've told him to go, now what's he doing? Because I'm shocked in the highway now. He's parking up. No, he's not. What? But he's reversing still. He's lingering yeah. around to cause trouble. He's not, I don't think he's trying to cause trouble. I don't know what he's doing. Well, let's find out. We get it far too often. Whilst we're just creating our content for YouTube, we get people coming out. He was great, so I've, I've been great with him and I've told him everything yeah, I need to tell fine. him. And he's gone back like in. I, say, I Obviously, think he was just concerned because you were sending a drone over where they worked. If, if someone was loitering outside for an hour or so from from somewhere I work and they were sending drones over and stuff, I'd be a bit suspicious. I'd be thinking, well, what are they doing? What do they want? Why are they loitering outside? Wouldn't you go out and just talk to them like, yeah. like he has done? Once you've got an explanation. But that doesn't mean to say everyone that people speak to is going to tell the truth. He could still be concerned. That's his opinion. What's the crime? I'm not saying you committed a crime. No, but what's he I'm concerned about? Because there's someone loitering outside his workplace sending drones yeah, over. Yeah, that's lawful. You can send a drone yeah, over any commercial business. That doesn't mean he business. can't be concerned. He's allowed to have feelings. Yeah, but, but once he's asked me what I'm doing and I've explained to him... he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you're telling the truth. He's allowed to still be concerned. Yeah, but is he then allowed to go and stop the yeah, police Yeah, he's car allowed to talk to me. ...to try and get me in trouble rather than... He's, he's allowed to come and talk to me. Do you not think it's best to go and tell the manager of the place... If he wants to come, to come and talk out? to me, he can come and talk to me. There's nothing stopping him from coming to talk to me. Well, we get it quite often where they're trying to get the police involved in a civil matter of me taking a drone. Yeah, maybe because over. they're concerned because you're sending drones over and loitering around. Do, do you which think, is fair enough, I would be concerned. Do you think a drone going over any of these buildings is concerning? Well, he did, yeah. Do you? Is it reasonable? His belief, his concern, was it a reasonable concern? Yeah, I think it is. Well, we'll be beg to differ there. Okay, that's fine. Someone loitering outside your workplace, sending a drone in, I'd, I, would, I would say that's reasonable to be concerned, yeah. So it's a titanium factory? It's a titanium. It doesn't matter. He felt concerned. Yeah, and I told and that's him. Okay. I said, I'm just interested in what you do here. You make titanium for the aerospace industry, isn't yeah, that right? And, and he told fine. me a little bit about the business. And that's and, fine. And we, we spoke about this transmitter that was on the yeah, corner. No and issues. it's sending a signal over here. So I says, Oh, you've got another site, have you? He goes, Yeah, it's just over there, plant number two. Yeah, he goes, oh, brilliant. I'm going to go over there next. Great. He goes, All right, I'm going to tell them inside what you're doing. Yeah. To, to, they've raised yeah, the alarm. And that's fine. 
but they they didn't believe that that's why you were there yeah. so they still had concern which is why he's come to talk to me he's allowed to do that he's allowed to have feelings and be concerned you can't tell him he's not allowed to come and talk to me and not be concerned if someone was loitering outside your home sending a drone over would you be concerned you've got a right to privacy in your residential property but not at commercial premises no but I'm just saying that's concerned a about what? situation. I just don't understand what if that someone was loitering if, outside. If he was, if he was concerned that okay. I'm, we're not going to, I'm planning we're, a we're robbery. Not, we're not going to agree, OK? His concern was reasonable. He's allowed In to your come opinion. And, he's allowed to come and talk to me. There's no crime against that. There's no crime about being concerned. We're not going to agree, so let's agree to disagree. Yeah. You've not committed any crime, so just go on your way. I'm going to plant number two. We're, we're just standing here... Disagreed and I was on my way to plant no number point. two. I saw that okay, he was trying to get me then. in trouble. Hold on, don't be rude. I saw that he was trying to get me he's in trouble. He's not trying to get so you I'm in trouble. Yes, he was. He's not. He was he's reporting. He's concerned. He's reporting something to the police, so the police take action. He's That's come all. to me with his concerns. Well, did you he's alleviate those concerns? To do that. Did you tell him, oh, leave him alone, he's doing nothing wrong? Did you say that to him? No, I said I'd come and chat to you, which is what I've done. But there's nothing, there's no crime, there's no, I even a suspicion of a crime. Have I? But he's allowed to be concerned. Yeah, but you're not. You're not getting that. You're not listening. The moment to, to, to his the moment to view. The moment to reassure him. Your has passed. view and his view are different. That doesn't mean his view is wrong. Do you agree that he may have left the scene thinking that he was right? So I am up to no good. But you think you're right? No. I, he might have thought that I've passed the passed a, a sus suspect to the police now. But I never was a suspect. But he was concerned. He's allowed yeah, to be concerned. You're not listening. He left the scene. You're not listening. Uneducated. He still it's thinks. Not uneduca uneducated. He still thinks that's it's wrong. It's his feelings. He's allowed to have feelings. He's a human being. So if he does that next he's time, he's a to human being. There. He's allowed to be concerned. If there's someone else loitering outside and he comes to talk to the police because he's concerned, that's absolutely fine. He didn't ring he's the police. He's allowed to do that. No, he's come to the police. He's allowed to do that. He saw you parked up, so he's used the opportunity. He weren't that concerned. It's only because you're well, he's there. He's concerned he enough to come and speak to us. It was an opportunity that he grabbed. Yeah, that's, and that's all. fine. Yeah, he's so allowed it, to do it that. It wasn't before he saw he's you. He wasn't that. that concerned. He only used the fact that you yeah, were there. Yeah, and that's absolutely which I think fine. Is wrong he's allowed because to do that. He, he left the business. Right, you're arguing for arguing's sake now. I'm off. I'm off. Just go. Don't be rude. Don't just tell me to just go. If you want to leave, you leave. Any point you can get in your car and leave. I'm still processing what's going on and think whether I, whether I think that's right or not. I think he should have handled it differently. And I might, okay. I might go back to the company now to finish a little bit, of, add a little bit onto the video. Because all, all so far I've picked up on is the barbed wire. The barbed wire is hanging over on the public highway without any signage. So okay. now I'm going to see what's, what they're doing wrong at plant number two. But I think okay. that's a little bit naughty of what he's just done there. So I'm actually going to well, go back. He's, I'm he's going back. He's allowed to be, have concerns. <coughs> and I'm going, going to go back and, as you call it, loiter a little bit more. It's not on, it's not on. Photographers making content for YouTube getting treated like this. We're not treating you like anything, no, you're just him, arguing not for you. arguing's sake. Him. He's he, not treated you like anything. Well, I, I think he's he has. He's just concerned. I'm concerned. He's a, he's a human being, he's allowed to have feelings. Do you not understand that? The feelings weren't there until he saw your car. Well, he was obviously concerned because he came out to ask you. So the feelings were there. He's a human being, he's allowed to be concerned. I treat him Your like a human being. Your opinion is not always right. No, but we can always right. express our opinion. Okay. Which is what he's done. You're exactly right. You are allowed to express your opinion, which is what he has done. Okay, 23363. Yeah. Pleasure talking to you. Have a good day. You too, mate. <coughs> so, let's go back to plant number one and see what the true feeling of the matter is. Because I thought that we left on good terms, me and the builder, and there was no hard feelings there. But then for him to go and stop at the nearest police car to grasp me up, I just think that's a bit naughty. So we need to speak to a manager of some sort in here now to get their opinion. DJ. Do you want a key ring, mate? Yeah, What's your first name? Uh, Ricky. Ricky, nice Watch to meet you, Ricky. Watch your videos, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Cheers for watching. Ricky from Jones Skips. Awesome. 
so it doesn't look like anybody else is going to come out from Timit. Let's head over to plant number two and see how it goes over there. So the location of the DJ Audits Cubing on this video is just behind that sign there. You can see the key ring just popping out the end. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. So we never made it to plant number two. On the way to it, we simply kept on finding more and more interesting places and then we ran out of time and we lost some time due to the rain as well. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Should the builder have just passed the message on to management inside and left it with them? Did he go out of his way to try and get me in trouble? I don't know. Would you have done the same? Was he right? Was he wrong? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Just seemed a bit too much for me at the time. Like he was trying to get me in trouble. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.